career, including a silver medal in the 2005 U.S. Nationals, plus a win over tonight's opponent, Malachi Farrell. He turned pro three years ago and is trained by his father, Marshall Kaufman. Last June, Kaufman resumed his boxing career after a 14-month layoff caused by legal issues. He's built an impressive record against entry-level opposition, though. He sparred with heavyweight contenders, including Hasim Rockman and most recently Chris Areola. Kaufman's a boxer-puncher coming off a TKO win in September. 23-year-old Travis Kaufman of Reading, PA, 13-0, 10 knockouts. Take us behind the numbers, Steve. Well, easy pickings. Kaufman's opposition, hand-picked all the way. The fighter with the best record, Josh Kutcher, was 18-9, but he had lost eight of his previous nine. Busy a big man. If Kaufman has an advantage over Farrell, it's activity. Kaufman's fought three times this year. Farrell's coming off a 14-month layoff. And power question. Kaufman's KO percentage is deceiving. Consider that the last opponent who took him the distance, Dan Wetzel, has suffered five first-round KO losses. Malachi Farrell's from Chicago, where he won a City Golden Gloves title during a 70-fight amateur career. Turned pro four and a half years ago in last April on Showbox. Lost a debatable majority decision to an unbeaten fighter. Since then, Farrell's battled an intestinal disorder and has fought just once, winning by early DQ. This will be only his first fight in 14 months. Malachi Farrell, 16 and 1, a dozen KOs. What's behind those numbers, Steve? A well, class advantage for Farrell, Nick. His opponents have had a combined losing record. But in that mix, Shannon Miller, who was 14 and 1, and Mike Morone, who was 17 and 0. Winning chin. Maybe Farrell boxes with his chin up in the air. But so far, it hasn't cost him. 17 fights, he's yet to go down. And vulnerable victims. From July 2004 through October 2005, Farrell strung together nine straight KO wins. But all nine of those opponents had losing records. Our show box opening bout from Santa Inez, California. Unbeaten Travis Kaufman. Malachi Farrell. Eight-round heavyweight bout. Let's go to ring announcer Mike Vale. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the Shumash Casino Resort here in Santa Ynez, California, where tonight Gary Shaw Productions and Showtime present Showbox, the new generation. Tonight's bouts are sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission, Chairman Tim Noonan. The Assistant Executive Director is Bill Douglas. The three judges scoring this bout at ringside are Raul Caiz Jr., Jerry Cantu and David Dinkin. And the referee in charge of the action is Dr. Lou Moret. Let's get the action started. Our first bout is in the heavyweight division and is scheduled for eight rounds. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is wearing the white trunks with the black trim. Official weight, 281 and one half pounds. He has a professional record of 16 wins, one loss, with 12 of his wins coming by way of knockout. From Chicago, Illinois, yes, yeah. let's welcome Malachi, the seventh son of Pharaoh. <laughs> and now, his opponent across the ring in the red corner. He is wearing the silver trunks with the black trim. Official weight, 221 pounds. He is undefeated with 13 wins, no losses, with 10 of his wins coming by way of knockout. From Reading, Pennsylvania, let's welcome Travis G.W. Hope Kaufman. Okay, gentlemen, I've given you instruction in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight and listen to my command. Shake hands and go to your corner, await the bell. Farrell at an enormous 281 and a half. That's 31 more pounds than his previous career high. At 221, by the way, Kaufman, a career low. And California rules in effect here. No standing eight or three knockdown. Rep or doctor can stop the fight. Saved by the bell in the last round only. So those are the differences. Here we go. Scheduled for eight. We've seen Malachi Farrell on Showbox before, losing a close decision. Travis Kaufman, his Showbox debut. He's in the silver. Well, they're both in silver and black. How about that? The guy who looks 60 pounds heavier is Malachi Farrell, Steve. Yes, and 60 pounds overweight, not just 60 pounds heavier. He wants to bring it to uh, Kaufman, who's more boxer counterpuncher and see if he could take that right hand. He wants to hammer home the right hand. 
Kaufman's been in the gym with some studs. Former champion Haseem Rockman, as we mentioned. Just got Chris Areola ready for his fight against Travis Walker. Or helped. Farrell took this fight on, on about a month's notice, said he would have liked more time. Nice uh, hand speed from Kaufman there. No excuses on that. The month, I mean, he shouldn't look like this after a month. See, the amateur experience, Travis Kaufman at one point was the number two ranked, or at least he won the silver medal in the U.S. Uh, amateur championships. And uh, in terms of professional experience, Farrell with a little more experience, Kaufman did have a layoff halfway through his uh, career thus far. Kaufman just a uh, couple of jabs, double jabs, and Kaufman uh, forcing Farrell to fight now. He's got him against the ropes and Farrell holding on to so the first clinch of the fight. Oh, Dr. Lou Marat saying punch out of it, and they do. But it's Kaufman weighing 60 pounds less on the right. He's the guy forcing the action all the way. You know, as we said, Steve, as he told us, counterpunching is probably his style, but he's using this 18-foot ring to close it off on Farrell and forcing him to fight every minute. Faster the pace, the better for oh, Kaufman, though. Oh, 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 oh. No question, right? Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't Hit him behind the head. The referee picked it up right away. Nice lead right hand from Farrell. That's what he wants to land. He doesn't back up Kaufman a bit, though. I like the fact that it's a small uh, 18 feet inside this ring, so it's going to force him to, to, to engage each other, Steve, and hopefully not hold much. Good combination from Farrell, or from uh, Kaufman. Kaufman blinking like he got hit in the eye or thumbed or something, or maybe butted. Farrell, as you said, oh, left hook from Kaufman, and Farrell is down Four, and dazed. Five, six, seven. Ready? Okay, give me your hand. Come on. You see the time left in the first round. What a beautiful left hook that was from Kaufman. He has been the puncher. He's been busier and wow, that's a knockdown. Counter punch from Farrell. Oh, we got another round of the year candidate, Steve. Seven. Eight. Yeah. Ready? Looks like a flash knockdown. Let's see what happens in the final ten. Let's same finish. A puff was not hurt. That I know. You can see that. His eyes are fine. Don't lean. Don't lean. Man, give it to Maliki Farrell. You know, he was down. He looked dazed. Comes back and drops Travis Kaufman. Let's listen in. Did you rushed it. Take your time. All right? To back. <laughs> Good work. All right? Headbutt, okay? Don't rush it. You're putting your head down, okay? Don't put your head down. Relax. Good work. All right? Good work. Listen, stepping off to the right, nice and patient. Get him faint. Get the jab working. I mentioned earlier that Farrell fights with his chin a little high up in the air. He's never been down before. Well, he can't say that anymore. Clean left hook, one punch, knockdown. Here it is again. Watch how he lifts his chin up in the air. No protection gloves are way down. But not long after, just as it seemed like Kaufman was ready to score a first round knockout, Well, I didn't see a punch. Did no. you, Nick? No. Saw so better punching from Kaufman, who got the short end of it. So it's a 10-point must. How'd you score the round? You know, the job of the judges is to pay attention to what the referee said, whether the referee was right or wrong. Dr. Lumaret scored it a knockdown. The judges have to do the same. I have a 10-10. 10-10, right. Isn't that something? Right. Kaufman was the far superior fighter in that first. And Farrell backing up. He looks terribly out of shape, not putting his punches together. Kaufman really flowing with his offense nicely. Very impressed with him. He has taken it to Farrell. He can see that he's out of shape, and he's forcing him to fight. 